Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and now the drug addicts are claiming that Jesus did his miracles using cannabis oil as healing miracles. Jesus was almost certainly a cannabis user and an early proponent of the medicinal properties of the drug, according to the study of scriptural texts published this month. No doubt, uh, performed when the reader was, hang, had a joint hanging out of his mouth or whatever. The study suggests that Jesus and his disciples used the drug to carry out miraculous healings. The anointing oil used by Jesus and his disciples contained an ingredient called cannabosum, which has since been identified as cannabis extract, according to an article by Chris Benefit. Bennett in Drugs Magazine High Times. The title was Jesus a Stoner. What did I tell you when I let off? I said the drug addicts are claiming that Jesus used cannabis. The incense used by Jesus and ceremonies also contain the cannabis extract, suggests Mr. Drug Addict Bennett, who's quotes scholars back to his claims. There can be little doubt about a role for cannabis in Judaic religion, classical mythology at Boston University said. That is bullshit. Referring to the existence of cannabis and anointing oils used in ceremonies, he said, added Obviously, the easy avail availability along the Sable's tradition of using cannabis in early Judaism would inevitably have included it in the Christian mixtures. Uh, there's where you screwed up, because at the time they weren't Christians, now were they? And Jesus, by definition, was not a Christian. Mr. Drug Addict Bennett suggests that those anointed with oils used by Jesus were literally drenched in this potent mixture, though most modern people choose to smoke or eat pot, but its active ingredients are transferred into an oil-based carrier. It can also be absorbed through the skin. Quoting New, Tem New Testament, Mr. Bennett argues Jesus anointed his disciples with oil and encouraged them to do the same with all their followers. This could have been responsible for the healing eye and skin diseases referred to in the Gospels. Now how is that going to heal any disease? Excuse me? One of those healings, some woman came up to him and touched his garment or whatever and she was healed. And she thought she was going to get yelled at, but uh, apparently she, Jesus told her to go to peace. And that's going to the Bible. If cannabis was one of the main ingredients in the, of the ancient anointing oil and received, receiving this oil is what made Jesus the Christ and his followers Christians, then persecuting those who use cannabis could be considered anti-Christ, Mr. Bennett concludes. So, let me get this straight, Mr. Drug Addict Bennett. You consider yourself to be something really special. And if you uh, get busted and thrown in jail for having pot, if anybody can do that anymore, you uh, are being persecuted. Unbelievable. I shouldn't do this one. I'm not quite awake yet, but I just couldn't resist. This is utterly ridiculous. These are a bunch of drug addicts who are just trying to justify their habit. I'm not even buying this, and I'm an agnostic. Uh, Mr. Drug Addict, you want to explain to me 
how it is Jesus told the storm to quit blowing and quit blowing and they walked on the water that type of thing you want to explain that to me uh, Mr. Drug Addict do you want to explain to me how it is that Jesus supposedly a uh, mob was coming after him and he vanished because it wasn't his time you want to explain that one to me Mr. Drug Addict Mr. Drug Addict you want to explain the transfiguration to me you want to explain uh, Satan taking them up to pinnacles or whatever and tempting them get real Oh well, just idiots. They're, uh, they are unimportant as far as I'm concerned. How is it they put it on Star Trek? What this idiot says is unimportant, and I do not hear his words. Thanks for watching, I'm Artifacts of Mars.